After having worked for almost two decades writing, I guess you'd call it political satire for a number of uh, comedians, um, I looked around and I thought I have a lot of friends and relationships with people who are writers and artists but work in the political realm. And I always wondered what drew them to that, A, but also what did they hope to accomplish with that work? Is it just to entertain? Is it to divert? Or is there something larger at work? The common denominator, as far as I can tell, is they all do something pretty interesting and the best of them do it quite well, which is they make politics palatable. For whatever reason, for better or for worse, it seems that, as we've said, more people get their news from fake news than from any other source. That idea being that people want to both learn something as well as be amused, as well as learn what to feel about the news if presented in unique ways. Um, and if there's a one-stop shop, sometimes that's political satire. I have found that the times I've had conversations, and beyond superficial conversations, real deep conversations with people who consume this kind of material, they all have very unique reasons why they do it. Some, as we said before, some just want to be entertained. Um, others need it in order to interpret the things that they're reading in the news that day. Um, so the idea of being able to have those conversations beyond a superficial level, beyond just, oh, nice to meet you after a book reading or what have you, uh, um, is something that I would have jumped at. I will have a very esteemed political cartoonist named Kevin Callagher, who has done countless eco economist covers um, and gives a good presentation as well. He, uh, he's very hands-on and loves to show people precisely how he gets to make fun of noses and eyeballs and faces, and, and it's really entertaining. Uh, then another very close friend of mine, uh, that sounds like name dropping because it is, he's a good guy and a very accomplished guy, a guy named Danny Strong, uh, who's a screenwriter. He wrote Game Change, he wrote Recount, he wrote last year's The Butler. He loves the political uh, genre um, and he's ecstatic to be here. 